A Drone Clone Experts Incorporated production. Instruction video demonstrating the latest and greatest Limitless 4 drone equipped with obstacle avoidance, a 3-axis gimbal 4K Ultra HD camera, GPS, and so much more. Please study the transmitter's functions and pause video now if needed. Prepare for flight. Remove the camera cover and insert the obstacle avoidance sensor. Obstacle avoidance is a nice safety feature, but just keep in mind you can always fly without it installed. Please always remember to remove the protective cover from the camera. If it's not removed before the drone is turned on, you can permanently damage the gimbal. Also, when choosing to use the obstacle avoider, always make sure it's either installed or removed when the drone is off. Otherwise, you'll damage the sensor. Lastly, never touch the camera gimbal or the obstacle avoidance sensor while the drone is on. To ensure proper connection between the remote and the drone, always remember to turn the remote on first before turning on the drone. So first, turn the remote on by sliding the side button on the remote. You'll notice it will say Mode 0 on the display. Next, turn the drone on by holding down the battery button until the drone beeps and lights begin to flash. It takes about 30 to 40 seconds for the drone and remote to sync to each other. You'll know they're connected once Mode 0 changes to Mode 1 on the remote. Just a quick reminder that the on switch is located on the right hand side of the remote, so it's not in the center of the remote like you may be used to. This next part shows how to calibrate your drone by using the remote control. However, we strongly suggest you calibrate using the Limitless 4 app on your smartphone instead because most find it easier. All GPS drones need to be calibrated properly before taking your first flight, but should only need to be calibrated again if it suffers a crash or you notice it not flying normal. Pay close attention to how the drone was spun three times horizontally and now three times vertically. Now correct the gimbal by holding the speed button down on the remote for five seconds until you hear a beep. Lights will begin to flash quickly and then turn solid once it's done. Here's how to calibrate using the Limitless 4 app like we suggest. For calibration, press prepare to fly. Then press calibration. You'll then follow the on-screen prompts which will demonstrate for you here. Notice how the drone is spun three times horizontally until you hear a beep. And then three times vertically until you hear another beep. Whether you rotate the drone clockwise or counterclockwise doesn't matter. Either way is fine. You'll then be brought to the next screen to calibrate the gimbal. So press calibration again and wait for it to bring you to the live video feed. Once calibration is complete, the drone will begin searching for GPS satellites on its own. Notice on the remote's display, the number of satellites keeps rising. Once you gain over 8 to 10 satellites, you'll enter GPS mode, which means the signal is now strong enough to take flight with GPS activated. Please be careful never to fly out of GPS mode. Otherwise, the return to home fail safes won't work. This is very important to ensure you never lose your drone. Connecting to your drone's built in Wi Fi network. Go to your phone's Wi Fi settings. Choose the network that starts with XLRTS as shown here. It may say no internet, which is correct because we're only using it for Wi Fi, not internet. Now exit that screen and open the Limitless 4 app, which you should have already downloaded from your phone's app store. If you don't have the Limitless 4 app yet, that's fine. Just download it now before going any further. Here's what it looks like in your phone's app store. Use the phone holder on the remote and use the extenders if necessary. Aircraft unlocking.
To unlock the aircraft and start the propellers, simply push the joysticks down and to the right or down and to the left. You can also unlock it within the app as shown here. Once motors are unlocked, propellers will spin until you attempt to take flight. If no flight attempt is made within 5 seconds, the motors will stop for safety reasons and to conserve battery. If this happens, just unlock the drone again and take flight within that 5 second frame. If you have over 8 satellites showing on your display but you're still unable to take flight with the motors unlocked, don't worry. It just means that you didn't calibrate the drone correctly. So rewatch the calibration section of this video and follow the commands. Basic operation. One key takeoff. One key landing. Increase and decrease altitude. Turn left and right. Fly forwards, backwards, and to either side. Switch between high and low speed settings. Activate headless mode. Adjust the camera angle up and down using the trigger buttons located on the back side of the remote or use the app as shown here. The highlighted triangle is the automatic takeoff key. If you try taking off without first unlocking the drone, it will remind you to do so. Press unlock and proceed to use the one key takeoff. Using the new obstacle avoidance feature. Like all drones, obstacle avoidance works best in the slow speed setting. Once you crank the speed up, it will still alert you, but may not be able to stop in time to avoid a crash like it does in the slow speed setting. This is what you'll experience when approaching an object. To take a picture, press the camera icon on the remote or the app. To take a video, press the video button on the remote or the app. All photos and video will be instantly saved to your smartphone's photo album. Or if you have a micro SD card installed, it will be stored on there as well. This drone has an upgraded card capacity of 128 gigabytes, so any card of 128 or less will work. Since Limitless 4 has a high resolution 4K camera, you'll want a card that's able to read and write data at super fast speeds. So make sure the speed rating for your card is class 10 or greater. If interested in purchasing a card from us, our cards are 32 gigabytes and are specifically designed for use in this Limitless 4 edition to provide the highest resolution photos and video. This card and all other accessories are available on our website, DroneCloneExperts.com. You can also take photos and video without the remote by using simple hand gestures. When you're about 5 to 10 feet in front of the drone, hold up the peace sign and the drone will take a photo after a 3 second countdown. To record video, hold your hand up as shown here. To stop recording, give the same hand gesture. There are 8 to 10 different camera lens views you can switch from. Some options even incorporate your phone's camera. So for example, your phone's camera will capture the drone flying in the sky at the same exact time that your drone's camera is capturing footage. This is an incredible feature that allows you to capture multiple views simultaneously from different perspectives. You'll have a better understanding once you give it a try. Create videos within the app using MV Productions. Zoom in by pressing the magnifying glass seen here. This shows all the app controls. Pause video now to study it. You'll find this bar along the top of your screen within the app. Limitless 3 provides really great functions, but you have to be aware of which functions work in each mode. Mode 2 is GPS mode, and since it's the default mode, you'll likely use Mode 2 functions the most. Here's an example of if you were to try using a function in the wrong mode. It simply won't work. Functions used in Mode 2, which is GPS mode. To start, click the icon on top right, then click here. You'll choose your flight points and then click the arrow to send the instructions. Press the map to see the live feed. 
Here's another example. Surrounding flight. Click the circle icon seen here. Choose from circling in a clockwise or counterclockwise direction. Finally, press send. Make sure the drone's camera is pointing at the person or object you wish to film. You'll still have control over the drone's altitude and direction. The main following feature while in GPS mode. To make the drone follow you in GPS mode, click here, then click here. An example can be seen here. Wherever you and your phone go, the drone will follow you. To cancel, just press the icon again. To return home, click here. You'll immediately notice the drone climbs to an altitude of about 70 feet before it begins its journey back to you. This is a safety feature to ensure the drone is high enough to avoid any high-lying obstacles in its path. 70 feet will avoid most obstacles, but depending on the area, there may be some tall trees or high-rise buildings that you'll need to avoid by simply using the controller's joysticks. So remember, during this time, you'll still have directional control over the drone. The following functions only work in Mode 1, but remember you need to be careful because the drone doesn't have GPS in Mode 1. In Mode 1, the drone is meant to be flown indoors in a wide open space such as a gym, but can also be flown outside if you're in an area where GPS signal is too weak to reach Mode 2. So hypothetically, let's say you're completely surrounded by tall buildings that aren't allowing you to get a good connection with GPS satellites. In this situation, you would fly in Mode 1. So for example, you may be waiting a couple minutes and see the remote is looking for satellites, but it just can't quite get the 8 to 10 satellites it needs to enter GPS mode. Well, now you can activate Mode 1 flight by holding down the middle button on the remote for about 5 seconds. This will allow the drone to take off in Mode 1. But again, you need to be careful because when flying in Mode 1, there's no GPS connection, meaning the drone won't know where to fly back to if anything goes wrong. The following features can be used in Mode 1. Battery Replacement and Charging The battery for the remote control lasts a very long time before needing to be recharged, but you can monitor its power level here. The same type of cord is used to charge the remote and drone battery. Your remote also tells you how much battery your drone has left. If your drone reaches critically low battery, its autonomous return to home failsafe kicks in. When this happens, please keep the following important tips in mind. 1. You won't be able to cancel return to home because it needs that remaining power to get back safely. This is done to protect you, the craft, and any bystanders. 2. The obstacle avoidance feature isn't active during this time. This is done to conserve enough battery for the drone to make it home. And lastly, and most importantly, Please remember that when return to home is activated, the drone immediately climbs to an altitude of about 70 feet before it begins its journey back. Charging the drone's battery. You can see the battery level on the app screen and on the remote, but the drone also flashes to let you know it's low on power. To charge the battery, use the USB cord that came with the drone. 
Either plug it in directly into a USB port as shown, or use your phone's charging block, which looks like this. To charge your battery with your phone's charging block, just unplug the phone's USB cable and replace it with the drone's USB cable. Limitless 4 uses 7.6 volt 5000 mAh battery, which you may have noticed is one of the most powerful drone batteries on the market. It takes about 15 hours to fully charge, but you can knock a few hours off if you use a charging block that has an output of 5 volts 2.1 amps rather than 5 volts 1.1 amps. We actually make a portable charging bank that has this higher output of 2.1 amps. The other great thing about this charging bank is that it's portable, so you can charge your batteries on the go. It also charges your cell phone, and there's two USB ports to charge your battery and phone at the same time. There are four LEDs on the battery. When one of the LEDs is blinking, that means it's being charged. Once all four LEDs turn solid, your battery is fully charged. Replacing the propeller blades. The drone arms are labeled with either an A or B letter, which will match with the A or B propellers. So A propellers go on A arms and B propellers go on B arms. 